Hi everyone, this is Erin from Sandpaper Road and in this video we're going to be making a mini album base. I call it my go-to mini album for beginners, although it really is just a nice perfect base album. Look at that. So in this video we're going to be doing the measurements and the construction for the outside cover including the hinge binding. We'll do all of this plus four tunnel pages. These tunnel pages are unembellished and not yet decorated, but those will be coming in future videos. So definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and definitely save this playlist in your watch later because you can always come back to it and make a great go-to album uh, that you don't even have to think about. It's going to come out perfect every time and nice and strong with a nice ribbon closure. So just to give you an idea of what we're working toward, um, this is the, this was my try it out album that I did the same size and so throughout the course of the playlist we're going to make the we're going to turn these four base pages into kind of cool embellished uh, decorated pages some with pockets and some with waterfalls and um, some with um, belly bands and let's see here just to give you a quick this isn't really a walkthrough it's just to give you a quick uh, just a quick overview here of all these things and you could make any of these pages your page one or your page two or your page three they don't have to be in this order okay and it doesn't matter what paper collection you use um, we've got here like a like a stair step pocket thing we've got a nice um, unique looking accordion okay with a neat little pocket and um, another waterfall at the end. So a lot of just nice basics. If you're new to mini album making, this is definitely gonna be um, a video you're gonna wanna watch and save. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna make the hinge for our album and this is what we're going for, all right? But I will show you the measurements of how we get to this stage and then that way you can use it for any album that you want. With this quick and easy album, you can start with the long paper, which is eight and a half by 14, or you can start with regular size cardstock. And we're going to cut the basic piece of cardstock to eight and a half, okay, by three or three by six and three quarters. So for this one, let's see. Why not? I'll just use uh, a regular piece of cardstock. This is eight and a half this way. Okay, and six and three quarters this way. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, we'll save this piece. We have to score in certain increments. So we're gonna have, you see on this one, we've got one and a half inches over here and one and a half inches over here. We call that the wingspan. So we're gonna start with one and a half, put this on the scoreboard, all right, and go one and a half. And now right from there, we're gonna do 11 spaces. We're gonna like literally count 11 times. Well, let's see here, half inch, okay? Just literally all half inch, half inch, half inch. So we're gonna go, this is at this is at two, so that's one. Two and a half is two. Three is three. Three and a half is four. Four inches is the fifth one. Four and a half is the sixth one. Five inches is the seventh one. Five and a half is the eighth one. Six is the ninth one. Six and a half is the tenth one. And seven is the eleventh one. 
and we have an inch and a half left over. Okay? That is exactly what we want. Now while it's laying there, I'm going to take a pencil, okay? And these, I'm going to put X's over the ones where we're going to put tape. We're going to put them and tape goes on the first two and then we skip one. Then two and then we skip one. And then the next two and then we skip one and then the last two. And those where the X's are are where we put the tape. And you start by, you, you put the tape on there literally, I mean, I'm not going to go through and do the whole thing because I have one made up already. But when I say put the tape, I mean you put the tape over the X's as such. Okay? Don't pull the release paper off yet, but just put the tape on. Okay? And then you can fold it, fold it. Because what you're going to do is tape, tape to tape. Why don't I just show you one? Now I have my tape hanging over a little bit. Once you get that there, you just snip that off like this. All right. And you're going to end up doing uh, tape to tape. So you can fold the whole thing so that all the tape pieces are together. Okay. And then you'll just fold tape to tape like that. And now see on the opposite side, you've got this little mountain. It's a little mountain fold. You can make it look nice and crispy and everything. Okay. You end up with this. So you end up with this, it's all been taped inside there. See all these little folds, okay? Then, now my suggestion, which I learned the hard way, because I had to literally fold these and put the tape down once, like once I made this, now to get the tape here, I'm gonna have to go back through and like go like this, okay? And try to lay my fold down and put it, and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't want to put tape that like that goes clear to the clear end um, like I did right there on accident but it's gonna be so much easier don't you think if um, I put tape here and then I flip it over and also put tape there you see what I'm saying so you could do it while it's flat and then when you fold it you'll have this and it'll look nice but or you can do it this way that I just did both are just fine okay so when you get to that stage, then what you want to do is, I'm not going to go clear to the edge. I'm going to come up just a hair and uh, snip off a little corner. And it doesn't really matter if it's so perfect or not or whatever. And then um, just kind of make them so they match. I sort of did this backwards, didn't I? Maybe this is an easier way to see it. Yeah, it really doesn't make a difference if it's so perfect or if they match. It's going to be covered up anyway. Okay. And once you glue this hinge down, like once it's glued down, it, you really can't do this step either. I think I'm going to trim this just a bit more over here. I'm just give this a little bit more in. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And that's where we're at. So you've got the hinge. Um, all the measurements there. You've got a one and a half inch wingspan and we're just gonna leave this like this until we go to put our album together. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead with our chipboard. Um, I use uh, just stuff from around the house, cereal box. These are <laughs> um, things that would be recycled. All right, it really doesn't make a difference. Um, if you like a thicker chipboard, then glue two together, okay? So uh, I wrote the measurements on here. So you've got your middle um, piece, your spine piece at uh, two and a half inches by six and three quarter. So you'll notice that the six and three quarter is this way, this way, this way, 
just like your tunnel pages are also six and three quarter. All right, so it's everything's the same up and down. Everything's the same measurement up and down. Um, but it's this way that gets a little tricky. So we've got six and a half over here, six and a half over here, two and a half uh, in the middle. And I'm going to use a, a cover paper of my choice. And it really doesn't matter. I'm just pulling this out from my drawer. I may or may not use this one. But um, when you put it on the cover paper, obviously the pattern is going to be on the other side clearly, but I don't want it to be white on white. So let me just show you what's happening. When you glue these down, okay, on your cover paper sheet, you um, put, I mean, maybe just, there's no real rule here. You want to be able, maybe a quarter of an inch. Ooh, look, I can make it, because this is dots, so I can just show you with these dots. See the dots that run down the middle? That's literally all the space you need. If you're sort of a perfectionist, you can use a craft stick, like a popsicle stick, and like measure in between and have it be perfect. But you'll see it's really about the same anyway. So I just sort of eyeball mine usually. You're gonna glue that down and burnish, 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 burnish. Now again, like I said, I only have the design facing this way so that you don't see um, white on white. But this is cover paper by Craft O'Clock. This is the way you should be gluing it, obviously, so that when you fold it, it this makes the outside of the cover, all right? So you glue that down. Okay, I've got my pieces all glued down to my cover. I, when I glued each piece down, I took my bone folder and just you can feel it obviously when you're burnishing but while i was burnishing then i found the edges and just kind of just kind of coaxed along in the creases and along the edges because now what happens when i flip this over is now when i start to do it slowly it goes a lot easier okay even here here too Okay, so now let me sit down here. Now what I can start to do is just, I'm not pulling, I mean I'm pulling tight, but I'm not pulling too tight. See? Okay. I'm going to take the edge of my um, bone folder and go like this on the edge. That's really going to give me the best because then it won't matter if I'm crooked or straight. It's going to go right alongside. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to go do, do that right alongside that. Yep. See? Yeah, that's better. That's the difference in just folding it and like really getting a good, yeah, let me get, because I could see there's a little there's a little bit there because I glued it crooked, which like I said, will not matter. So I'm gonna do the, the proper technique here. Ooh, a little bit crooked. Do you know what I blame? I blame my, uh, my new glasses. <laughs> I, got, I got new glasses and they are a stronger prescription. And I was used to the I had bifocals before, but they had the little line in the glass, and now my new pair does not. It's just one piece of glass. What do they call that? Progressive? Well, anyway, I'm not quite used to them yet. All right, so now you can see that, did, this, did I not do this side? Oh, I didn't do this side. Huh. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, I see why. Okay. Because I didn't fold it all the way over. I didn't fold it all the way over. I was about to say, what am I missing here? What I'm supposed to see is this little this little square piece of excess. Okay, that's what I'm that's what I was looking for that I did not see. Part of right now why this looks awkward is because I'm trying to keep it in the frame. 
of the film for you. Okay. There we go. Yeah, see, see this little, you get to see a little rectangle in each corner of your cover. This is basic cover paper. It's really nice. Some people like to use Tyvek uh, and then use like chipboard or chipboard, cardstock or whatever it is you, whatever method you like to use for your cover. I prefer the cover paper because it's just one seamless piece and it's got like that, um, it almost has the feel of contact paper. So I don't need to use Tyvek because it's almost got that, that um, strength included. All right, now, same type of thing, what we're gonna do mentally, I mean, just mentally, you're going to uh, keep about that far away. Remember about this far away, maybe even a little bit closer from this corner, from the corner, okay, is what you're gonna try to do. And you can check it. See? See that right there? That's nice. Because I left that little corner. That is what we're trying to do. I really it really doesn't matter about this. I don't want to cut it clear across or I won't have any I won't have enough to cover. But see that's pretty good. That's nice. We'll save this. Now this doesn't have any adhesive on it until I put it on there. Alright. Let's Actually, let's do this other side here so you can see. What are we going for? We're going for this. Be careful in the corner. Let's see how we did. Okay. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. See? Now when we glue that down, we'll just have this little piece to cover. Very, very nice. Okay, we'll do the other side. Now I am keeping, when I am cutting this, I am literally keeping my eye on the corner. That is a, probably a little bit too much, is it? A little bit, but um, I'm not gonna mess with it though because I'd rather have it be too much than not enough and I can always snip this off. Oh, maybe I will just snip it off. Why don't I just do snip it off? Right here, right when we got close to the corner, we just, went just a little bit we just didn't go quite close enough watch the difference here there we go okay and the last one now right now before I start I'm looking right here okay to get a good angle and then I, once I tip my scissors then I just keep my eye on the corner Pretty, uh, I feel like maybe just a little bit close right there. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Just take your time. Mm -hmm. Now we've got these. These will come in handy um, when we're adding our... Um, pattern paper later. And now you can use a combination of score tape. And let's see, do we want this on top? And this underneath? Sure. Okay. I, you can use liquid glue if you want. I hate to, let me do it this way because I don't want my head in the, in the picture here.
And once you have this album, uh, like the measurements and stuff, once you have it in your mind, you can practice and practice and practice just making just this part of it. Just practice. When you get a cereal box, just practice, you know, and um, then you'll get really good at it. And like one day, all these folds and all this stuff that you're doing is going to click and you're going to be like, oh, and it might not click right away for real. I know that is what happened for me. I was doing it and doing it um, for quite a while before I, before it clicked. Look how crooked that is. <laughs> Woo-wee. Not so good. Now see what I'm doing right here? We are going to need to see this line. As a matter of fact, if you'd like to cheat, you can put your pencil line right there if you want. Because you're going to need that because in uh, we're going to need to put this right here, you see? And you're going to be lining, you're going to be centering this. What in the world? Oh, I got to fix this up. But you're going to be centering, just sort of eyeballing these um, four things right here in between these two lines. Okay. Now we have a fold line, but it sure is helpful. You know what I mean? Actually, for real, it's going to be like this. So you could put that pencil on. You could put it like way up here if you wanted. It's not going to hurt anything because you're going to be covering up with this. But look how nice and easy this is going to be now to center it. See? Yeah, that's nice. Because then you'll just go like that. Okay. All right. We'll do the same thing on all four sides here. Okay, now this will go right here. See, now I can center, I can eyeball these four things in line with my pencil marks, which the pencil marks are just these things right here. Okay, isn't that wonderful? I have a big roll. Just make my life a little bit easier, huh? Okay. Nice, huh? One big piece. This is kind of a pain, but um, you could use you could do this differently. You could use a little bit of undo if you wanted, and then we could still use this piece. Okay. Let me show you what I mean about the undo. Watch. You just put it right here along where you're going to cut. And then uh, it just acts like paper. And 
it'll become sticky again. So I do that a lot. Ah. Okay, there, that's much quicker. All right, good. Now we've got this. Um, it's all burnished down. got our pencil marks this is where we'll want this right here right there this is where we'll want it so here's what I'm gonna do since I have undo I could use the undo right as you saw but what I could do it once I get it there is I could just hold it and use my, I should have started this before. Oh, it's coming off pretty easy. All right, I'll just hold it, okay? And tuck that under. Now, if you're doing strips, if you don't have this big roll and you're just doing strips, you could just pull off like one or two strips. It's the same thing, okay? All right, nice, huh? And now, here's what's gonna happen. This is very important. Right here. You have to do this. You have to do that. Find where, find where it bends up, right there. And then just be gentle. Okay, just be gentle. You have to do that though. And then just be gentle. Your book's not going anywhere now. Okay. There you go. Just be gentle. Yeah, you got a lot of strength. That tape, that tape adds a lot of strength. And see, you did not even know. Let's be gentle here. Okay, cool. You did not even know that I glued that crooked. Remember I said I glued it crooked on the chipboard? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So now that you have this scenario, right, you can choose what are you going to do to cover this up because now you can use matching and um, this seam right here where it, where it is, okay, you don't want to go past that. So you'll go right up against it maybe not right up against it, but like just a smidge away from it, you know, so that you can still fold this up and then that'll cover. Um, that's what I've done and it's fine. Also, if you're going to, um, whatever you're going to use to cover this up, if you're thinking of adding a ribbon closure, now would be the perfect time. 
so that when I go like this, it covers it up. See? And then I'll have this sticking out of the ends. So we're thinking about this ahead of time. And I'm going to go just across my chest as far as my arms will open wide. And that's as long as the piece I want. Okay. And now we'll do this in half. like so. See? And now, I don't want to go clear to inside to here, um, just to like there is fine. We, we'll, we can trim this up later. And I actually, I'm just going to use these pieces from before, okay? Just right in half, because the score tape, uh, you can tear it. We'll put this over top and it looks like what I'm going to do is trim. Hmm. Let me just mark this here. Oh, oops. Okay. This first one. Right there looks good to me. And up on top, there is the corner. So right there looks good to me. Okay. And again, I will save this with all these other weird corner pieces. That would make a really nice something to add on the inside of the album, especially because it matches the cover. Right like that. And this I can do if I want to do um, liquid glue or, oh, there's this little tiny lip right there. Do I want to get rid of that? I feel like it's gonna be more trouble than it's worth. So instead I will just try to center it and make it look like it's supposed to be there. Yeah, that'll be just fine. So I um, probably, I think I'll just add the liquid glue to this. Um, there's no reason to do all that tape. Make sure my ribbon is straight out. Also, I'm not assuming that my piece on the back over here is the same size. I'm treating them like they're their own individual pieces. Whoops. Yeah, the liquid glue will let me sort of slide around a little bit just for a minute. Burnish, burnish, burnish. Yeah, that's good. See, I've got, I made it look like it's supposed to do, be like that. Even though, it's, in my mind, it was a little bit off, or a little bit much down here, but that's okay, because I made it just look a little bit up there. Okay. There we go. Look and see, it comes right out of the middle. That is lovely, seamless, lovely, lovely, lovely. We'll repeat this on the other side. Now, see what's gonna happen, okay? Now we have this right here. I'm glad that it's a little bit stiff, actually. That means it's going to hold up good, okay? 
Yeah, I'm fine with that. See? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, to make our pages, we're going to need, you can use the uh, long paper, the legal size paper, or you can use regular size, eight and a half uh, by 11 paper, but we're gonna need two sheets that are six by seven and a quarter, all right? Six by seven and a quarter. Now this, it would be, uh, this is eight and a half by 14. So let's do the, let's do six here. We'll do six here since I have the legal paper. You can get this on Amazon. Six. We'll save this guy just for who knows what. Okay, and then we'll take these two six and cut them at seven and a quarter. Okay, we'll save this scrap. Oops. And now, whoops. All right. Six by seven and a quarter. Now we're actually going to score on the short edge a uh, half an inch. On the short edge at half an inch. All right. And you fold that down like so. And then you'll put tape right here and you do that with both sheets, okay? And because of the magic of preparation, I've got mine all set. And now, since you've got your two sheets, you put tape on each end, and then what you do is you tape one folded end to one folded end, okay? To create a tunnel. Just like so, so I could do it flat if I wanted. Maybe that's an easier way for me. I don't know. See? And you want the um, you want the tunnel on the inside. Not you don't want to be like this. Okay. So put the tuck that tuck that flap inside. All right. Yep, just like so. Now, now I have a tunnel. So your final page size should be six and three quarters, which it is six and three quarters vertically and six this way okay so you'll have uh, your album will be a little bit longer like up and down it's nice for when we're doing waterfall pages and things of that nature of course you could do it this way you could fold it i mean you could make it landscape if you wanted that's totally up to you okay so make four tunnel pages and let's move on. Now what we'll do is we'll, there, there's endless combinations of things that you can put on these pages. Flip, flips and flaps and twists and turns and openings and accordions and waterfalls and however you want to decorate the actual pages and then they will fit, each page will fit right like this, right on top let me turn it sideways so you can see, or a little bit sideways. See how they'll fit right there? So what you can do for yourself is just before you even get started on the pages, test it out and see, just test it out. Don't pull the, paper, the tape strips off, just test it for a second and see, do you have your hinges good? Are these gonna lay flat? Just test it for a second, okay? You'll, you'll see what has to happen. Is it gonna go both ways? It's gonna be a little rough at first, right? Because they're not attached. But see why we put the tape close to the top, close to the, the upper edge here of this hinge, because you're gonna need that room for these to, to go back and forth. 
okay? So test and make sure that all your tunnels go this way. The other thing that I do, especially at this stage, is um, you can if you want to, it really doesn't matter, but what you can do is take your pencil and um, you can just draw an up arrow uh, and a side arrow on each one. The side arrow meaning this is where it's going to attach. You see what I mean? If you have to do it this way, then do it this way. You don't have to, but as you're building your pages, you might find it helpful. See, and that'll fall off and that's fine. Okay, and you could test each one if you want. It doesn't matter what hinge you use, but you could just then go, this is the up and this is the side where it's gonna be a hinge. And then this is the up and this is the side that's gonna be the hinge. Here's why this matters. Um, when you're, this is my finished album. It was like a tryout. But um, look, for example, if I wanna take one of these pages and I wanna build like this accordion, right? Going out this way. You want everything to flow outwards on the outsides. And so these arrows just help you on both sides. Just keep that straight as you're building your pages. Regardless of how you build your pages, it doesn't make one bit of difference um, what designs you use to construct the album pages themselves. When you're ready to insert the finished pages into the album, when I say finished, I mean built, if you're doing accordion, a waterfall, and decorated. That's the way I personally do it because I find it cumbersome to try to build uh, with pattern paper and to build all this stuff while it's already in the album. What you do is you start with the middle and you insert the middle pages first and then you work your way out. And the way I do it is I fold back some of this tape and I pinch it shut, maybe, maybe trying to lift it up just a bit or something so it's gonna be easy to grab. Let me tip it a little bit on an angle so you can see. I start by inserting it on the bottom. It's kind of hard to do on camera. Okay. And when I get it, the way I want, and what I mean by that is, remember how earlier we were trying to test it and see, is it gonna lay flat? Is it gonna lay flat? Well, now we've got a little bit of sticky here where we can, once it's in there, we can pinch it. We can hold it in place. We can make sure it's centered. We can make sure it's not clear pushed down against the cover. We want it to be just a hair, just a hair up above the cover. Then you can pinch this shut. You can use your little pokey tool to reach in and grab this piece of tape that you fold it up, okay? Or if you have fingernails, you can reach up and grab that tape out. Okay, it's a little tricky. There, and when you grab it, then you can just gently, and no rush, hold it where you want it. Pull that out. Press that in. See, now you're taping it. Now you're pushing it shut against the tape, right? And then you can turn it to the other side and reach in. Remember, you folded that one and you can find that one and do that same thing on this side. There he is. There he is. Okay. Just like that. Okay. See? And it's perfect. And then you can do the next middle one. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed making this base mini album with me, and I hope this becomes your go-to album because I know that you will just love that perfect, perfect look of that binding. So uh, definitely stay tuned and hit that subscribe button and check out all the other videos in the playlist so that you can uh, decorate and embellish your pages and build a great mini album every single time, even if you're a beginner. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.